Buenos dias, Gophers! I'm Naomi. And I'm Nelson. And welcome back to our 28th episode of Gopher Nation News. We're nearly towards the end. I hope you guys are having a great morning. Now, on to this week's question. This week's question is, where did Portland get their hottest day? A, 1890, B, 2012, C, 1999, or D, 2021? Stay tuned until the end of the episode to find out. Now, on to this week's news. Starting off this week, we have some amazing staff members we'd like to mention. We'd like to appreciate the hardworking staff and give a thankful farewell to those who are retiring at the end of the year. Let's go take a look. Hi, my name is John Wilson. I'm the secretary for the assistant principals. I primarily deal with the calendars for the assistant principals and substitutes and absences for staff members. I'm Donna Matson. I'm the office manager here at Gresham High School. Uh, my job entails supporting the administrative team here, um, organizing the offices and helping each of those areas uh, figure out what they need to um, do to accomplish their daily goals. My start time is 6.30, but I'm always here earlier than that. What I start with is getting the mail ready, making sure the printers have their paper, and then look and see what the absences for the day are. Oftentimes there are several uh, staff members who are absent and their jobs needed filling, but no one picked it up. So what I have to do is make sure that we get those classes filled, either with staff members here, hopefully with, with substitutes that pick them up, or sometimes we'll have to make do and have the kids all meet in the cafeteria my job changes day to day. I come in and depending on what we've got going on, I may be highly involved in um, organizing events that are happening that day uh, that the administrators uh, need assistance with. Uh, probably the first thing I might do as I come through the door is um, assist Mr. Wilson in figuring out our substitute coverage situation. Uh, that has changed uh, tenfold since um, the pandemic and we don't have the coverage like we used to so we have to always figure out what's going to happen um, and then depending on the day i might have meetings with um, the admin team as a team and or i might just go right in and and do my regular office work with whether it's payroll or uh, checking in with employees that kind of thing i officially started working at Gresham 16, 16 years ago. I've been a part of this campus for 41 years as a fan, as a parent, as a grandparent, and as an employee. At Gresham High School, I've been here for 34 years. Um, I've actually worked in the district uh, for 41. I started in 1982 as um, a pool attendant at Barlow Pool. I worked in a pool uh, while I was in college. I'm still alive. Uh, watching, uh, well, watching both of my children graduate and watching my two granddaughters graduate. I don't know if I would say that I have a great accomplishment, a greatest accomplishment. I think, um, I think that the fact that I've worked here for so long, um, I guess that's my greatest accomplishment. I've enjoyed working here. I feel it's, um, it's a part of the fabric of my life. Um, I've worked in many offices, several offices in the building. I started out as an athletic secretary uh, for about 15 years before I moved up and became the head secretary and then they changed it to office manager. So I've been involved in all kinds. I've done all kinds of stuff. I've, I've worked with the activities directors, the athletic directors. Uh, it's just it's just what I've done. And, and that's kind of, I've prided myself on that, that I'm a worker and I like to be involved in, in all of that part. Just be prepared. It can be very, very hectic in the morning. The person taking my place next year is actually somebody who started her career in this building uh, in a different role. And so she has a lot of um, historical knowledge already of our building and that's super helpful. Um, I think uh, uh, it's important for her to just check in with um, all of the people that she works with to be aware of what's going on in the building. 
uh, what kinds of events are going on or wherever she can be supportive uh, that, and, and just to be involved in that way. You need to enjoy these four years. You will remember them, you will have some lifelong friends. As tough as it may seem, when you look back on it, it'll all be worth it if you come to school, give it your best, whatever that is, and uh, like I say, enjoy the four years. Take advantage of the school. Uh, enjoy your time here. Um, you know, it's, it's probably not fun to go to classes all the time, and I recognize that, but, but it's important. Education's important. Getting through high school's important. And uh, I would just say, you've got to enjoy your time and get involved and, and get to know your teachers, just like they need to get to know you. And, and just remember, you're here to have fun too. July 1st, we're heading out of town. We'll be moving to Arizona. Well, um, I'm going to travel a little bit. I've got friends in several different states that I've um, made from working here. Uh, so I'll travel a little bit. I've got things I want to do uh, around my house and, and just spend some time just relaxing and, and, and spending time with friends outside of work. Probably the fact that it, for, I think it was two years, myself, my daughter, and my granddaughter we're all employed here at Gresham High School. Part of what I really liked is being out, being the face in the ticket booth and interacting with the public as they've come to watch the Gresham Gophers. I'm gonna miss, um, I'm gonna miss the whole thing. I'm gonna miss, uh, like I said, this is, um, I started working for this district when I was 20 years old. So, um, and I am certainly not 20 anymore. So, uh, you know, 40 years later, I have worked with a lot of people and I have a lot of um, connections and friends and, and I will miss that daily camaraderie of, um, of being in a job. And so, you know, that'll be different. I'll have to readjust how I, how I live to some extent because this is a lot of my social life. Oh, sometimes I think nothing, <laughs> frankly. But Moving on to sports, we have our sports duo, Brianna and A. Lee, with this week's sports events. Hey guys, I'm Rafe and I'm Amy and here are your sports announcements for the week. Here's a quick video with softball athletes. Hey now Gophers and good morning. Today we have KJ Gardenhire from the girls softball team, number 22. How long have you been playing softball? Um, I think I've been playing for around 10 to 12 years. Okay, that's a very long time. What do you do to condition for all those seasons? Um, we, there's basically no breaks. It's really just constantly working out and continuing to hit and field and like work on our mechanics to get better. Okay, so for those who don't understand the positions of softball, what do you play? I play first base, so I catch all the throws from third base, shortstop, and second base, and the pitcher. Okay, so how's the season going so far? Um, we're doing good. I think we're 16 and 10 going into playoffs, and um, we're looking positive. I think it's going to be a good after postseason. Hmm. I was talking to Coach Gardenhire today, and he said you won your game yesterday, 19 to six. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was good. Um, we started off a little bit slow in the first couple innings, and then after about the fourth inning, we kind of started a hitting rally and continued to hit until the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So your first playoff game is this Monday. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to that? How do you feel? I'm really excited. I know a couple girls on the Southridge team that we're playing on Monday, and I think it's going to be a good game. We've played them before, and I think we can come back knowing what they have. Okay, so playing softball for 12 years, what's been your mindset that gets you through it? Um, my mindset's more of just like, I try to play to have fun, and then I play to ha be competitive, but I have to mix both in order to stay confident in my head, mm -hmm. because if I go one way or the other too much, it's 
an issue. Yeah, I think that's the key to most sports. Thank you. Hey now, Gophers. Good morning. Today we have number six, Nayeli Ramirez from our varsity girls softball team. Now, what position do you play in softball? Um, I play outfield, mainly left field. For those who don't understand softball or haven't watched it like me, what does your position entail? Um, outfielders are usually fast and usually outfielders have a strong arm because we end up throwing the farthest and you have to be able to angle to the ball mm -hmm. to catch the harder pop flies as well as being able to read the ball off the bat. Okay. What's your favorite team memory? <laughs> My favorite team memory is probably last year beating Barlow for the first time in years. Like with our new head coach, um, our, my, one of my best friends on the team hit a grand slam to win the whole game. Wow. Speaking of Barlow, let's segue into this season. How did you guys play against them? Uh, the first time we played Barlow, we run ruled them. I think the score was 1 to 11, so that was pretty exciting. I was expecting a little bit more competition than what yeah. they put up the first time, but the second time around, they showed up a little bit more and we ended up losing that one. But I know next season we're going to come back and beat them again. Okay, how's the season been overall? It's been really fun. I've connected with a lot of the girls. I've really enjoyed all the time that I've spent with everyone mm -hmm. because we only lost one player last year. It's about the same team this year, so we all connected a lot. What are you looking forward most in your next season, which is your senior and final? Um, next year, I want to make it further in the season and have a better record because I know how good of a team we are. And I also am just excited to make as many memories as possible in my last year in softball. All right, thank you. Yep, I wish you luck. Yes. Let's get a little drum roll for a special event coming up. We are going to be having Potter Punk June 2nd from 5.30 to 9. And it is going to be girls seniors play girls juniors. And it is going to be flag football. You should be there. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun. So be sure to be there. Um, I don't remember how much. Be there or be square. It is going to be $3 to enter because it is a senior fundraiser. So please, please, please try to show up. Those are all the announcements we have for you guys. We'll see you at the game and we'll see you at Spring Fest. Those are all the announcements we have for you guys this week. See you all next week. Now passing it over to Naomi and Nelson for the rest of the episode. Hey, Juana. Hey, Helen. Have you heard? Metch is having our first Latinx dance Friday, May 26. In the cafeteria from 7.30 to 10.30. Tickets will be sold in the commons during lunch. Singles are $10 and doubles are $15. We hope to see you there. Thank you. Hey Naomi, what's your favorite show to binge watch? My favorite show to binge watch is Black Knight. What about you? Ooh, my favorite show to binge watch is Everybody Hates Chris. Let's see what other gophers have to recommend. Um, I like watching um, Shark Tale. What is that? Shark Tale? Okay, mine's not Shark Tale. What is Shark Tale though? Cars. I don't use the B word. Joey Rogers. The people want to know. What is your go-to binge um, movie slash TV show? I don't know. I haven't binged anything in a long time. Last thing I probably binged was the Toy Story series. Guys, he didn't say he has no time for fun. No, no. Do you go I'm being harassed. Actually, our family does the whole Fast series. Fast and Furious, just sh sh up through whatever. Probably New Girl. Probably Daredevil. Bowling Girls or Murder, She Wrote? The Twilight series. I'm probably New Girl. The Blacklist. Criminal Minds. That was really good. Have you ever seen that one movie, um, Planet 51? Too scary. Project X. Fast and Furious. Sports. Grey's Anatomy or Shameless. I like to watch The Big Bang Theory. I'm probably Family Guy. None. Moonstruck or... Bulldor. BMF. Oh, it's about, uh, Black Mafia family. I really like Tangled. What is your go-to binge movie or TV show? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Spring Fest is coming up this Friday after lunch at 11.35. We're going to be on a different schedule. Each class will be 25 minutes. Make sure to pay attention. All right, have you guys thought about this week's question? What year did Poland get the hottest date? A, 1890, B, 2012, C, 1999, or D, 2021? And the answer is D, 2021, with the highest temperature measured that time was 114 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 46 degrees Celsius. 
All right, that's all we have for this week's episode. Stay tuned until next week's episode and our last episode. Hasta, Hasta la, la próxima vez, Gophers.